it's Elizabeth and welcome to Elderberry by Elizabeth. Today I want to share with you a special recipe that I have for homemade Lara bars. Welcome to my kitchen. We're going to be making date bars today. As you can see I have some little helpers here with me. This recipe begins with getting some raw nuts, about a cup and a half of them, and soaking them overnight in the fridge. Then get two and a half cups of dried dates and pit them, take the seeds out of them, and about 10 minutes before you start this recipe, soak the dates in some hot water. So I add the soaked raw cashews to the food processor and I blend them up pretty fine. Then I add the soaked dates and blend them again until it forms a paste. coconut flour on hand and added a couple tablespoons of coconut flour at the end just to get the consistency stiff to what I wanted. Then I stirred a couple additions into the mix. In mine I used unsweet flaked coconut and some chocolate chips. yummy enough for you to eat, uh, scoop it out of the food processor and into a pan that has been lined with some parchment paper. Then cover the top of the bars with another sheet of parchment paper and put the whole thing into the fridge and let it dehydrate in the fridge overnight. This leaves your bars in between two sheets of parchment paper in a pan and after the first few hours in the fridge, turn the mixture like a pancake, just flip it over, and let the bottom dry out as well as the top. Then in 12 to 24 hours, take the pan out of the fridge, cut it up into whatever size of bar that you want, and then roll each piece in parchment paper and store these in the fridge. I didn't weigh each bar to see if it was the equivalent of a Lara bar from the store, but I got 27 bars and we snacked on these for over a week. They were absolutely delicious. Think of this recipe more as a formula than an absolute requirement. You could use any dried fruit, any type of soaked nut that's raw, and any type of addition that you have on hand. If you don't want to use coconut flour to stiffen the batter, you could always use almond flour. I feel this recipe could be used with multiple different kinds of dried fruit, and whatever you have in your pantry that just needs to be used up could probably be thrown into these snack bars and made into something delicious. While there is some waiting time involved with letting everything soak, and letting everything blend in the food processor. These are very hands-off for what they are, and cleanup is so, so easy. As you can see, I had help with that too. 